So at this time, you a little bit earlier that we have a special on today our youth have been working hard our adults have been mentoring and training them well and we're so proud of our dance and our arts team here at IOMTC I think you know for being a small church I think we have high caliber dance and arts team we do and I, I want to introduce uh, Elder Sylvia because she is the woman, she and, and the other adults Ashley and they are the ones that are really the ones that are leading the way, the spearhead and leading the way. And I tell you what, it's not just a production, it's a ministry. Amen. And, and it's mentorship to our next generation. So let's just go ahead and give them an applause. We just want to tell you thank you so much for your impartation of the Spirit of God in you and through you and the talents that he's given you. And thank you for what you impart to us. It's truly my honor to stand before you because I recognize I'm on the altar. And when the kids are ministering, we always know it's an altar. It is not a stage because the stage represents, you know, glamour and fame. This is not about us. It's all about him. It's for his glory. And for us to be able to share this with you is such an honor. Um, one of the things, the song that we're doing is called Passover. And it is a song, it's in the Ghana language. Ghana is a nation in Africa. And as I've been studying it, I've realized Africa is really a continent. It's not just a country. We think of the country of Africa. But it is a continent made up of many countries. And so Ghana is one of those. And the language, you'll hear her say, Asuna Yasu Tafi. Didn't that sound good? That must be Holy Spirit. And she says, Kora Danu, Koja Malo, Kora Danu. And you'll see the girls and you'll see the young men come up. And they are representing that we plead the blood Amen. over our nation. Yeah. We plead the blood of Jesus. He yes. is the door. It says we plead the blood over the door of our nation. Yes. And I'm going to have my son Isaac come up here for a moment. He's like, oh, man. I just came to see him. He's our oldest son, Isaac Daniel Kelly. Hold that flag up. So it's upside down. So if you see this one, it says... Jesus. And in the song, she says, in the name of Jesus, Tafi. And Tafi means to leave. Amen. And it was a spontaneous song. This was not recorded in the, um, it was not recorded in the studios. This was spontaneous worship. Amen. And we do that here. Pastor Cindy leads us in spontaneous worship all the time. Amen. So who knows? It could be an avenue. One day we're selling millions of records because people want that type of worship. But they literally, spontaneous worship broke out. And she just began to speak. And it was written during the time of COVID. So she's really directing this. She's saying, COVID, leave. Mm -hmm. And now we're saying, any and everything that is under our feet in the name of Jesus, tough feet. Let's practice that together. I'm five. Let's hear you guys go do, do tough feet. Ta One more time. Tough feet. Ta and you and let's stamp your foot with it. Tough Ta feet. Yes. Because you're saying leave. And your issue that you're telling to leave may be different from mine. Right. I may be saying leave out of illness. Somebody else may be saying leave out of finances. Leave out of a court date. Leave out of any and everything that the enemy is bringing against you. You need to gird yourself up and get angry enough to say leave. Amen. I have authority to say it. And I have authority to see it done and execute it in Jesus' name. Amen. And so turn the flag, flip it. And this one is the cross. Yes. This is a Christian flag, if you guys didn't know that. It's not Red Cross, but it's a Christian flag. <laughs> <laughs> and it says we are Christ-like. Right now, the word Christian is not even, it's not a good name in, in a lot of places. People don't want to hear about, oh, I don't want to hear anything about being a Christian. Because they've seen so much, they've heard so much. But I still remember that we serve the Most High God. Yes. And his son's name is Messiah, Jesus Christ. So yes, we celebrate that. So truly, as you begin to, and I want you to encounter and experience this song as a total declaration that you are empowered to make. 
And when you hear her say tafis, repeat after her. Asuna yesu tafis. She's saying leave in the name of Jesus. Kora danu. Meruka te Christi. She is, she is wailing and she is speaking. And I want you to feel that in your spirit. I have authority to tell everything that's coming against me to me. And it's the final notice. You know how you get like a, a notice, but then you get the final notice. The final notice, you're like, oh, they mean business. It's a, final, it's a written warning. Oh, I'm all right. Oh, it's a final warning. If I do it again, I'm fired. I mean, none of you have ever experienced that. But you know what I'm talking about. This, she's giving it finality for eternity. And that's what I want you to step into. Step into that. Don't be afraid. You have authority. So what will happen next, Miss Ashley, and I just want to say, she's going to thank everybody, but she's going to come up and thank everyone. Thank you guys for the honor of being here and ministering. Elder Kelly has a special assignment for you guys. He has a special assignment. And everybody can participate. And we're inviting each and every one of you to participate. And the kids will help to execute that. The next time you see me, I might be in costume. And I might be coming for you on the other side. I've, I've been known to be the bad guy. So this morning my husband said, why do you always have to be the bad guy? I'm like, because I know what I'm doing as far as I can be him because I'm coming against him. I'm coming against that spirit. So somebody's got to be the bad guy sometimes. So next time you see me, you'll probably see me as the bad guy. But we want to thank you guys. And thank you, Pastor Howard and Pastor Cindy, for allowing us to minister. It is an honor to do so. Thank you. Yes, yes. Just like Elder Sylvia said, we do want to thank Elder Sylvia. We want to thank Pastor Howard and Pastor Cindy. Um, we want to thank everyone who participated in this dance. Um, before I actually go through that, actually, no, I'm going to keep thanking people. <laughs> well, I thank the parents who actually came week after week and allowed us to practice together. I want to thank the dance team for what they do. And like you guys have heard us say this before, we fast. We're not just a team who gets up here and dances and says, like, it's more than just what we do. We like this is, we, we study what the song lyrics say. We study the word with the song. We study together, we fast together, we pray together. We say, okay, everybody, does anybody have a prayer request this week? That's what we do and that is who we are. And all of this trickles down from the leadership of Pastor Howard and Pastor Cindy, amen? amen. So we give an honor amen. and that, that's who we are. We're I-O-N-T-C, whoop, whoop. Yeah. So thank you for those who are viewing on live stream. Yeah. We hope that everyone receives this ministry, that it actually pierces your heart and that it actually propels you into your future to make it through the rest of this week, amen? And just to solidify some things that she said, Tafi means lead. So like she said, when you hear it, you're going to hear her say it. And again, this is International Month, so this is an international song. It's not in all English, and that is okay because God can be praised in every nation, That's in every right. tongue, in every tribe, just like the book of Revelation says, amen? amen. And then Asuno Yesu, that means in the name of Jesus. So you'll hear that Yesu means Jesus. So you actually hear that also in the song. Yanzu, that means right now. And you'll hear that. Yangzu, you'll hear that as well. And then Kore Danu, that means get out of here. So this is her declaring to the devil, get out of here. Kore Danu, Amen. that's what she's saying. And Koja Malu, that means Passover. And just like the song you're going to hear, that's the main theme of the song. We, it's Passover. Just like in the days of Egypt, Passover. Come on. God, no sickness, no illness, just pass over because we're protected by the blood of the Lamb yeah. in Jesus' mighty name. So I pass over to Elder Kelly right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone. The scripture tells us that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. It also tells us that every place where our foot shall tread, there I have given you possession over. And Revelation says that we are, that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. And our pastors on last Sunday had mentioned that we are weapons of mass destruction in the Spirit in Christ Jesus. Yes. And so we invite you to participate this as, as the Lord leads you. As you see, the young people are before you and they're getting ready to pass out the elements of communion to you, to take with you, and represent 
the body of Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. For you, at least to use as the Lord leads, to take with you on the grounds of the nearest of your school, if you're homeschooled, to do it, uh, take communion in your home. If you do not have perhaps a active school that your children or grandchildren participate in, to perhaps take it to your nearest school district and to take communion on those grounds. In the past, pretty much every school year, my wife and I and other believers will walk the school ground of our choice to take communion. Of course, after we pray and examine ourselves, ask for forgiveness, repentance, to take communion there on the school ground with the last bit of communion to pour it out on the school ground as representative of the blood of Jesus Christ and taking territory Come on. and pleading the blood of Jesus yeah. as a prophetic demonstration, as a symbolic act that we're taking territory over that particular school district and then to pray over that school district, Amen. to pray over the students, yes. over the teachers, That's over good. the administration, That's good. and to declare and decree for the fear of the Lord to return to the school, for righteousness to return to our school, as we at least take territory from the enemy and from the adversary, as we fight as generational guardians for our children and for our grandchildren, and declare victory in Christ Jesus over the mountain of education. We use this as a weapon, as a spiritual weapon, as we go it's basically a combined weapon of the blood of Jesus, of walking and taking territory as well as prayer. Amen. Yeah. And as we, as representatives of the kingdom, and as weapons of mass destruction, fight for our generation, taking back territory from the adversary. Amen. So I invite you, as the Spirit of the Lord leads, for you to do this. And hopefully, as we continue to allow the scripture to come to pass, that the kingdoms of this world eventually will have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. Come on. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Elder. How many of y'all know, y'all see my, my feet peeking out? Y'all not supposed to see that. I usually wear heels all the time, but I'm like, not today. And then I had these sandals on, I took those off, and oh, now, now my, my stuff is peeking through. <laughs> Thank you, Elder Patrick. So one of the things that Elder Sylvia and Elder Patrick have done for years is they will go to the school grounds, multiple school grounds, and they will take the communion and they will actually take communion on school grounds and even pour it symbolically that they are pleading the blood of Jesus over that particular school ground and they declare and they decree over that particular school ground so if you could right now just join me and we will take this communion and we will declare and decree that our children our grandchildren and and their children and all of our community that the blood of Jesus Christ covers that school ground that the homeschool whether it be homeschool private school or public school that the blood of Jesus covers our children and that the education system will be turned around and surrender to the principles and the ways of God Almighty. That uprooted is every demonic work, every carnal work, every work of perversion, every work that is trying to defile our children. That we declare the blood of Jesus is against it. That it must stop and it will not go any further in Jesus' mighty name. And we further declare that the righteous ones that God has called and assigned to be in those school systems that they will answer the call. And by God's grace, they will turn it around. And we declare it so in the mighty name of Jesus. If you would agree with me, let's take communion according to that prayer. Let's take the bread. Lord, we trust you to do this work. And we do it in faith in Jesus' name. And let's take 
the juice as a symbolic act. Today we're doing communion a little bit different. Today this is about a symbolic act for our children. You know, oftentimes we'll take, thank you, sir. We'll take communion for ourselves, and we should. Take it for ourselves, take it for as a symbolic act of what we're doing. But today is different. Today this is an act of intercession. Today this is an act of war. Today this is an act of declaring that the blood of Jesus is over our children and the school system. So let's take it today and drink the blood symbolically. And we answer the call. If the Lord's been playing on your heart to do anything within the education system, I ask that you would answer the call. I pray that you would answer the call because if not us, who? If not now, when? It's already gone too far, so I ask that you would answer the call. And that any time you pass by a school, I pray Holy Spirit quickens you to plead the blood of Jesus over that school. That if there's an opportunity to get involved, that we would take that opportunity and no longer talk about it, but walk it out. Because our children are worth it. Amen? Amen. 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 We, we agree in faith. Amen. So, I have to do an emergency convergence of global warfare. I have to come out because the church thinks she's the bride. She thinks she's a weapon of mass destruction. But she has not seen anything yet. Because I promise I am coming. And I'm dressed in white. Got a little trick up my sleeve because I know how to camouflage myself and turn into an angel of light. That's right. And when they think they're piercing my darkness, I'm already there. So here's the thing. I understand strategic threat assessment. And right now she thinks she's a threat that's not true. She is not a threat to my kingdom. So I'm doing a virtual warfare strategy session for risk management. I can't not be proactive. I have to come at her with deception and delusion. Come on. I've got to come at her because she's trying to come onto my territory. How dare she? How dare he? You have no place in the kingdom of darkness. Stay off my territory. Stay out of my way because I've got principalities, power, spiritual wickedness, deviousness in high places. And I'm not afraid to use my weapons of mass destruction. Let her sit in her four walls of the church. Let her go out and do community outreach and community service. <laughs> look at me. Let her take her selfies. Look at us. Look, look, look at the United Way behind us. We're doing so much work. But in actuality, you do nothing. Because I am the one who holds emotional slaves. I am the one who holds them in the palm of my hand. I turn them at my will. So they want to talk about Passover and tell me to leave? I got something for you. So I invite every last one of you to sit back. You can relax. That's what you've been doing. You've been relaxing, so why stop now? Relax. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Because I got something for the bride. She thinks she's coming, but I'm already there.
agree together for the covering. The covering of the blood. Amen. We agree just the, the symbolic covering with Ashley over her daughter. Amen. And with Jesse and his son. Woo! And with the both of them covering their children. Woo! We agree with the prophetic act Come and on! symbology of the covering. Yes. Of the families in alignment and submission yes. to Christ and his will. That the power of the Woo! blood causes every enemy to, yes. of the cross to pass over. Yes. You have no authority None. here. We loose the covering of the blood. Yes. Of Jesus Christ. Yes. And every family watching online, yes. we lose the power of the blood yes. of Jesus yes. into your family, into your life, into your mind, into your yes. heart, into your emotions. Torment what we do for. We torment the Lord in this time. Yes. 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 By the blood, come on, somebody. Somebody shout by the blood. God has been kind to me. I know that some of you lions were in this place and as the ministry was going forward and the prophetic expression, I know that the lion was being stirred up on the inside of you. I know the spirit of God was prompting you to take your place and get into alignment under the spirit of the covering of the blood. And I know that there's an, a prophetic activation that was taking place as that ministry was going forward. I thank God for sealing it up by the blood of Jesus. I thank God that you take your place and you never look back. Amen. Because I want you to get used to the new you. Who you are as an inheritor of the oh, new yeah. you. You don't have to go back to where you were on this morning. Come on, man. All right? You don't have to go back to who you were when you walked through the doors. The prophetic power of the blood of Jesus is doing the consecrating yes. and the sanctifying and the propelling of who he's already called you and made you to be. Before the foundations of the world, he already called you and made you to be. And today,
today is the appointed hour. Yes. Today is the appointed time. Yes. Take up your strength in the yes. Holy Ghost. Woo. Take up your strength by the power of his blood. Oh. Take it up and declare it and walk it out. Tomorrow and tonight when the enemy tries to come back and the familiar spirits and the familiar mindset tries to come back, say no, the blood. Pass over. Pass over. Yes. The blood. The blood of Jesus is against every enemy of the cross. Yes. If it's something that is not my inheritance in God, it's an yes. enemy to me. Yes. That's right. It's an enemy to my family. Right. Pass over. That's right.